go. I d- hang on, hang on. I'm so sorry about that. What's going on? Things have got a little bit weird around here, I've got to admit. Okay, things are a bit strange. Okay, what's this on the back of my head? That, that, what's going on? I'm sorry, this um, edition of Create With Chris is a little bit weird. I don't know what's happening. I've woken up. Look, what's, what's going on here? Why is my shirt on backwards? Why is my hat on backwards? I, things are just a little bit topsy-turvy today. I'm sorry, we're going to try and get through this as best we can. All right. Uh, Wow, yes, yeah, so welcome along. I hope you're okay. Uh, I think maybe the lockdown's getting to me now. I'm not sure, I hope you're doing all right. So what we're gonna do today, my friends, is we are going to draw ourselves a picture, obviously, and it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit strange. It's gonna be a little bit weird. Um, I'll tell you what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be the hardest thing we have, we're gonna draw, okay? But let's think, we've been doing this for a while now. This is what, episode 10, is it 10? I think we're in double figures, woohoo! Um, so, we're going to really test our drawing capabilities. That's right, capabilities. That's a big word, OK? That's the biggest word I know. That's even bigger than wheelbarrow, which is, again, a pretty big word. Um, so get your pens, get your pencils, get your uh, pieces of paper ready. Here we go. Let me get a piece of paper as well. There's one just, OK, just, 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 just. There. Oh, not there. What's that? That's a dog with one leg. What's that doing there? Um, here we go. Whee! All right, there's our clean piece of paper. Where is my pen? There it is. Ding! Why is everything wrong, the wrong way round? It doesn't feel right. Because we are going to, you know, if you draw with your right hand, today we are drawing with our left. If you normally draw with your left hand, we are drawing with our right. We're going to mess things up. It's really, you know why shirts um, are meant to be worn the right way around? It's because they're really uncomfortable if you're wearing the wrong way around. Anyway, um, so uh, we need your left hands if you're already right-handed. If you're right-handed, we need your left hand. Okay, you're going to draw with the hand that you don't normally draw with. Oh, this could be fun. All right, now what are we going to draw, I hear you ask? Yeah, I think I heard you. Um, we're going to draw ourselves. We're going to do a self-portrait with our wrong hands. What could go wrong? I don't know. What was that sheep doing? That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Sorry about that. Um, right, here we go. So, with your uh, non-drawing hand. Oh, this could be uh, this could be awful. Right, here we go. We're going to start with. Uh, let's get some kind of oval. Wow, an oval, an egg. That's going to be our head. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, now, I'm assuming you've got two ears. I don't know. You might have one. I'm not sure. Um, here we go. So one ear, ear, one ear, ear. That's hard. Ears are hard with your wrong hand. Okay. All right so far? Nobody crying? Nobody need a drink? No? You're okay? Good. Um, now then, two um, bits inside your ear there. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Here comes the tricky bit. Um, here we go. Two eyes. If you've got two eyes, you might have one eye. You might have three. I don't know. Um, there we go. All right. Have you got one bigger than the other as well? Me too. Okay. And then here we go inside there, the little pupils. Oh, that's tricky. Who would have thought that's so tricky with your wrong hand? Whoa. Um, some eyebrows. Wee. Wee. There we go. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Um, now we need a big smile. We've got big smiles today. We, uh, we we've all got to have smiles. No frowns. Good vibes only. Okay. We've got to be smiling. Okay. Well, that does look a little bit scary, doesn't it? Okay. Um, a nose is commonly found in the middle of your face. Um, mine's quite large, so I'm going to go for a big nose there. Your, yours might be small. I don't know. Um, look at that. Does that look anything like me? Sort of. I need the hat. I'm okay, on the top of your head, my friends, you might want to put a hat. You might, I don't know what kind of hair you've got. You might have big bushy hair, big curly hair. You might have just some pointy... Try and draw your hair on top of your head. I'm going to go for the hat here, okay, which is backwards, obviously, because we're having a weird mixed up day. That, oh, that's not too bad. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Um, so do your hair, do a hat, whatever you like. Now, I've got a bit of a beardy thing going on, so um, I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, that's tricky. I'm going to try and do a little bit. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Um, 
So, I don't know, you might wear glasses, so pop yourself some glasses on. You might have your ears pierced. You might have a lot of hair coming down your nose. Yes, dads, you know what I'm talking about. Kids, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just wait 10 years, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Why does it grow? I don't know. Let's not get into that. Okay, we've got enough going on already. All right, we need a little neck. Here we go. Doink. There's your neck. Um, all right, the body. Okay. Here we go. Um, now, we're all going to wear the same thing. Let's get a T-shirt on, okay? Because some of us might be girlies, some of us might be boilies. But, uh, so we'll go for a T-shirt, okay? With your arms popping out. Oh, my word. You know what? Hands and arms are tricky to draw anyway. But when you're doing it with your, uh, with your opposite drawing hand, it's even trickier. I've gone for four fingers. You may want to go for five, six... Um, okay, this side, one, two, three, four, wow. Have you got one bigger than the other as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know what you want on your t-shirt there. Whatever you like. What do you feel like drawing on there? Um, I'm going to go for a rainbow. How hard can a rainbow be with your wrong drawing hand? Turns out pretty tricky. Okay, there's a rainbow. All right, I hope yours looks better than mine. You've got to send them in. I want to see these. I want Because I want to see what you look like as well. You know what I look like, but I don't know what you look like. So this will tell everything. Um, let's get some legs. Here we go. Wow. That's one thin leg and one slightly larger leg. Excellent. Uh, and then some, uh, some shoes, some trainers. I don't know what you've got going on there. Here we go. Excellent. Shoelaces. Oh, that's tricky. I think we've nearly done it. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, now, we also need something in our hands. Now, I tell you what. Normally, I would say, well, draw something that makes you happy. Draw something that you like. Maybe food. Okay. I'm thinking maybe... Draw God, this shirt's uncomfortable. Um, maybe... Does it look like a straight jacket? It does a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is quite apt. Yeah. Um, so, I'm thinking not your favourite food. We need... Uh, your least favourite food because we're switching things around today we're going for the opposite we're going topsy-turvy we're going upside down we're going left to right right to left your worst food oh that's a tricky one um, you know what for me I'm going to have to go for celery do you like celery? I, I don't like celery what does celery look like even? something like this oh my word how do you draw celery with your wrong drawing hand? That looks nothing like celery. But that's the beauty of doing this. Okay, and then in the other hand, what about, um, instead of your favourite thing that you love to do, what about your least favourite thing in the world? What do you not like doing? It could be, uh, it could be your homework. It could be, for me, I think probably washing up. Okay, have you got a, I bet you've got a dishwasher, haven't you? I haven't though. I have to wash up. Don't like it. Um, what else would it, it might be having to de-flee your cat, maybe. It might be uh, maybe having to uh, brush your chicken, you know, if you've got a pet chicken. Um, so, in your other hand, draw whatever it is that you don't like doing. Um, I'm going to go for that washing up thing. Let's get a plate. Wow, plates are hard with your wrong hand. There we, is that a plate? And then we've got some water coming off it there and some soap bubbles. Okay, how about that? Yeah, okay. There we have, my friends, a self-portrait with our wrong drawing hands. If you did that, you need to give yourselves a round of applause because that is tricky. That is hard. You've got to send them in. Send them in to, uh, to Chris White Poet, at Chris White Poet, with the hashtag create with Chris. I really want to see these. I want to see what you look like because I know you're going to look exactly like your pictures. Please don't send them in to the create with Chris people because they're getting very upset still. Okay, you don't want to upset a crest person. Wow. What would a crest person look like? I don't know. That's for another time. Um, let's finish off with a poem, okay, about when things went a little bit wrong, when your clothes went on the wrong way round and you had to draw with the wrong hand and a sheep started singing show tunes. It's called Backwards Went It Diva. Yeah, if you want to know what it's really called, then just like run the video backwards and that'll tell you. Some days are really strange and things just go a bit wrong. 
like the day everything went backwards. Let me tell you what went on. I woke up just like usual and went to have a shower like you do. But instead of getting cleaner, I got dirtier and smellier too. Then a quick whip round with a toothbrush, but I thought, I'm going mad! My teeth are getting more yellow and my breath smells really bad. So I went to my bedroom to try and get dressed, but I really wasn't too sure how I ended up in my pants and socks and my clothes folded up in a drawer. Then I went to play football with my mates and things were fine until the ref blew for full time before we'd kicked off and we went from 3-2 to 0-0. Nil -nil. Mm, then it was time for dinner. But it really wasn't that great to see food come rushing out of my mouth and appear freshly cooked on the plate. I went home and thought, I'll lie on my bed and read till this madness has gone. I started the book on page 103 and finished it on page one. Uh -huh. I got ready for bed, but I needed the loo. And oh, good grief, the frustration. But there are some things I'd rather not talk about, so I'll leave that to your imagination. I lay in bed staring out the window, trying to work out what was happening and why. As I watched puddles turning into rain and shoot up into the sky. At least this backward day's nearly over, I thought, as I slowly drifted away. But imagine my surprise when I woke in the morning and found it was yesterday. What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. We're going to go. We've got to go. You know what? I think I need a bit of a lie down. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Be kind. Be creative. And I'll leave the last word to the sheep. <coughs> Create with Chris, create with Chris, how do I switch off this? I'll, I'll help you, hang on, see you next time. Okay, just press it with your trotter. Do sheep have trotters? With your sheepy hand. And... Meh.